Greetings, my friends, and once again, welcome back to the channel. I'm Pastor Emeritus Ron L. Spratley of Covenant of Grace Ministries. As you know, where our value proposition is renewing minds and transforming lives with spiritual solutions to worldly problems. This morning, we're going to continue in our series, our eschatology series, which talks about the doctrine or the teachings of Christ and the Bible on the last things. Today, we're going to be talking about the resurrection of the dead. We're going to be starting a new series. I want to do a quick recap of our series outline of the things we've been talking about. We talked about death. We've talked about the intermediate state. Number two, uh, we just completed our series on the second coming of Christ. Today, we're going to be talking about the resurrection of the dead. Uh, and before us, we've got the last judgment, the millennium, heaven, hell, the new heaven, and the new earth as we work our way through these teachings. Stay with us, our friend. These teachings are important for us, those of us who are disciples of Christ. So let's move into today's teaching, the resurrection of the dead. I want to open this up with uh, some general scriptures about the resurrection before we get into our detailed teaching. And I'm going to begin with John 19, 25 through 27, for I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin and worms are, are my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, who I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. So Job understood this whole process that he was going to see Christ. And he was going to have a resurrected, a glorified body. Okay, so this concept is in the Old Testament. Let's look at some more Old Testament, Psalms 49 and 15. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. There's another Old Testament scripture referring to the res resurrection of the dead, soul being redeemed from the grave right? Luke 20, 37 and 38. Now that the dead are raised, okay, now that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush when he called the Lord, the God of who? Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. For he is the God, he is not a God of the dead. Again, for he is not a God of the dead but of the living, for all live unto him. Okay, so these teachings are heavy teachings. That's why we've been talking about what? Transformative thinking. That's why we've been talking about uh, transcendent thinking. All right, now let's go into John 11, 17, and 44. This is where... Christ came and raised Lazarus from the dead. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had laid in the grave four days already. Lazarus had been dead four days already. Now, Bethany was near Jerusalem, about 15 furloughs off. And many of, all right, and many of, the, of, of Jesus came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha to Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I, but I knew that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it to thee. Jesus said unto her, thy brother, shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, 
I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe it thou this. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went her way and called Mary her sister, secretly saying, The master is come and calleth for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now, Jesus was not yet coming to the town, but he was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, she goeth unto the grave to weep there. Okay. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned. This is the human side. This is the compassionate side. He understands our issues. He understands our problems. He understands our experiences. He groaned, Jesus groaned in his spirit and was troubled and said, where have ye laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. He understands us. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, could not this man, which opened the eyes of the blind, have caused that even this man should not have died? Let's continue. Jesus, therefore, again, groaning in himself, coming to the grave, it was a cave and a stone laid upon it. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was, that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead four days. Get it? He's been dead four days. Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe it, that thou should see it, the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou heareth me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it that thou might may believe that thou they, that, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus said, spoken, he cried with a loud voice. He cried with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead after he had been physically dead for four days. We constantly teach that Jesus has the keys to death and the grave. He has authority over death and the grave. Yeshua has that authority. Key principle that we need to understand, John 11 and 40. Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee, 
that if thou wouldest believe it, thou should see the glory of God. This is a key principle, my brothers and friends, we need to remember. If thou would believe it, thou would have ongoing faith. You will see the glory of God. May God bless you and keep you till we have an opportunity to bring you another word in the future. God bless you. <laughs>